What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And guess what? We're back with another Cupid's Corner. Oh my goodness. That's right. Every week. Every Sunday. My beautiful wife, Sharice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be coming at you guys with new tricks, tips, and things that will hopefully entice, enhance, and revitalize that relationship of yours. Um, even if you're not in a relationship, you still want to get these tips, tricks, and things that will definitely benefit your future relationship. Yep. So you have a successful one. And uh, hopefully live long lives together happy. with your partner. Happy. Happy. Cozy. That'd be good. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so this week it's actually, uh, we're going to divert a little bit from that, but it will definitely help a relationship if you listen to me or listen to us. So it's Mother's Day. That's right. Got to love the mothers out there because without our mothers, we wouldn't be here. Yep. Right? Yep. We held you. You owe us your whole entire soul. So, you know. Majority of people out there have good relationship with their mothers out there. I've only met a, a couple of people, I guess, or there's only a hand few that might not have a good relationship with their mothers, right? And this could be an issue because of something that happened before in the past. Who knows? Mm -hmm. But uh, there's good people out there and there's bad people out there. But the majority, I think, of mothers are good. And you know, you know what? Either way, they gave you life. So you got to love them to some extent, right? Now, mothers, there's two types. There's the mother that gave you birth. And maybe you're in a relationship or you're married to the mother of your child. Okay? That could be your wife, that could be your girlfriend, some girl, baby mama, whatever it is. <laughs> but she's still a mother. And if she's a mother to your child, you gotta respect her and love her. Even if you don't like her, you know, there are people out there that don't like their baby mamas. There's or most, their children, most of them. <laughs> right? But you at least gotta show them some respect and you gotta show them some love because they brought your treasure into the world. And that's your baby or your child. Okay? So with Mother's Day, you know, there's a lot of different things you guys can do for mothers out there. Now, me, I like to revert back to the old school things of flowers. Maybe flowers. You can't go wrong with flowers. Dinner. You, you really can't go wrong and with dinner. flowers. dinner. Like, right? it's usually brunch or something, you know? Yeah, you know, and, uh, and sharing the time with the mother. So if you have, you know, your wife and then you have your mother's, her mother and your mother, you want to take them all together, that's, that's a really good way to do it. So here is about that. Uh-oh. Right. She don't want her life so, taken from No, it's not life. even that actually. So I just and we won't even name names or we won't <laughs> pick we won't even pick out mothers that, you know, might act this way. Uh -oh. However, uh -oh. you know, what, what really is the true debate, right? So the true debate does it come down to, right? Let's uh -huh. just say uh, there's a bunch of mothers, right? Cuz right. John has a mom, yeah. I have a mom. Yeah. You know, um now I'm a mom, right? right? So, you know, you have to think like, okay, well what if, you know, I want to do something with just Peter and John mm -hmm. and it's just me, right? And you know, is this where you just, you know, send some flowers to your mom and, you know, be like, happy Mother's Day? Is this where, you know, you just call your mom, be like, happy Mother's Day? Cause now you're a mother. So technically now it's your Mother's Day. Now you still still want to say happy Mother's Day to your mom, but is it really, when, once you become a mom, right? Here's the question. Once you become a mother of the child, right? Yeah. Is it really their Mother's Day at that point, right? Because you still, it's their, their moms, I get it, right? Let's not, I'm going to. Still your mom, right? However, I mean, this this does not call always call for a mother gathering, you know, for all the mothers to come around and all the mothers get presents, you know, because now you're a mom. And the reason I bring this up, again, I won't bring any, you know, names into it, but, you know, I've had a situation where, you know, a friend, <laughs> friend, um, a friend of mine, you know, they both have moms, you know, a husband, wife, mm -hmm. and now she's a mom and she wants to do what she wants to do with the kid on Mother's Day. And it is what it is. And of course, the other one of the moms of the, you know, husband, wife is now mad because they're not doing something with them for Mother's Day. So I feel like there's a fine line between that. Right. Because then once you become a mother, Mother's Day is for you because you're a mom. Right. Because I mean. I, what do you think? I think in a, in a perfect world, you know, you can get everybody together for Mother's Day and you guys can celebrate together. Um, I think that, you know, yes, you can set aside that time for you and your inner family per se, right? That core family, you, your your husband or, you know, partner and then your child and you have that time, right? But then you set aside some other time where you guys can all get together, if that's possible. Like you guys are all in the same state and location. Yeah, that's you guys always fun too, right? Like that. But the, listen, if, if you're a mom out there, right? Because now I'm thinking, oh shoot. I'm like, 
So I'm a mom now. And then I'm like, when Peter has a baby with somebody, then she's going to want her Mother's Day. And I'm going to be like, excuse me, I'm your mom too. So yeah, I'm not being left out. And then what if she's like, well, it's my Mother's Day. Like we're going out to dinner. Have a nice one. Here's some balloons. I'm like, I'd be sad, you know? That's, so, I mean, I feel like, uh, kind of but I'm trying to, but I still want to respect, you should still respect the the wife, what they want to do. But that's right? what I'm saying. I mean, you know, I mean. I feel, this has been a fine line for years. You can set some side of time for both, I think. I, I literally, I I've, think. I've heard this scenario so many times, it's not even funny. Because, let's get, I mean, listen, Fox does the exact same thing, right? I'm a father. But my dad's my father, right? And, and we usually take him out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, listen, I, I think women take this a little bit more serious than guys do, right? To a certain extent, this is my day. And it, you know, this is for all the mothers out there, right? It's not just one single mother. <laughs> exactly. It's for all the mothers. Yeah, listen to, enjoy. to John. Listen to John. So I think that you know, I think that you know, if if you can't, you get along with your mother-in-law. Or your mother, you know, maybe set a little bit, to, like go out for a bunch for like a half an hour, 45 minutes. But the rest of the day is yours. Like you don't have plans. You know, maybe spend a little bit of time. Because think about it, right? The whole point is to spend time with your kid on Mother's Day, right? Well, yeah, but you're their kid. Right. You see what I'm right. saying? Right. There, there, there's a circle of there, life. There's definitely a circle of the life. A circle there. of life. And uh, the generations are like there. Lion so, King. you know, think about what your mom, right? You're, you're, you think about your mom, and your mom's like, you know, on Mother's Day. Then what does she have for Mother's Day? Because both of her kids have Children, wives, right. and, and they're both mothers, right. right? So does that mean that she gets just, just she's out now? I know, right? And that's not cool. This has been happening for a while, though. Cool. Now listen, you don't even have you, to take your mother out or get them together. You can get them something. But if you, yes, you establish, like, listen, happy Mother's Day. I want to get you some really nice roses, And Mom. I love you. I call you. Thank I you talk for my to you. Life. I love you, right? That could, that could definitely be good, good enough. Um, but if you really want to make their day, dude, you, you take them out and you see them. And the only reason I say this now is because as we get older, especially now, um, you know, time is valuable. And you don't yeah. know how Tomorrow's long people are going to be around. And it's not. It's not. And, you know, people just don't wake up the next day sometimes or something happens out there. So you really never know, you know, is that going to be the last Miller's Day that you're going to spend with them? And that's really how you should treat that. You know, life is so precious. Uh, and at that point, you know, your mom's your mom, dude. You know, are you going to be really sad when she's gone? Mm -hmm. You better take the time to spend it with her now while she's here. And you can love her and talk to her, even if you are a mom, right? Because that experience is what's going to mold you to a certain extent. Well, the memories. How you're going to be a mom, right? Yeah, yeah, the memories. You know, you can collect the memories, too. So I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. I think yeah. it's a good thing. Now, there are people out there that do not get along with their mother-in-laws or maybe <laughs> their moms anymore. So... You know, you have to work story, through yeah. that different story. situation or Send scenario. The flowers. There's so many flower companies, guys. But what I would say about that is even if you don't like your mother-in-law or your mother, per se, for some reason, shape, or form, make make the extension out there. Send, you know, extend the olive tree, uh, per se. Be the better, bigger and better person and send them something. Mm -hmm. Send them something. At that point, what are they going to say? Oh, I can't believe this person. She got this. I hate this. Door. At least you did it, right? You can look yourself in the mirror and be like, listen, I'm a good person. I did what I was supposed to do. And that's it. And you can sleep well at night, look yourself in the mirror, and you don't got to be a crab ass. Okay? <laughs> listen, the, the, the whole to. point is to make sure that your mother knows that you appreciate your mother. That's right. That's so, what it comes down to. That's right. So It's not all about, you know, whatever. And if you want to do something on your Mother's Day and after that you talk to your mother, it is what it is. And if she don't respect that, it is I'm going to be like, Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I'm going to call his mom, Happy Mother's Day. And then guess what? I'm going to be like, John, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> I want to go to sleep. That is my gift for Mother's Day. I'm going to bed. I'm going to take my blanket and put it right over my head. <laughs> easy enough, right? That's Isn't that an easy day. one, man? That's the cheapest Mother's Day you got. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, be original on Mother's Day too if you can. You know, uh, do something special for your mom and for the mother of your child too as well. Whether you like them or don't like them, you should definitely extend that courtesy out to them. Show them some love and show them appreciation for bringing either you in the world or your baby or child in the world too as well. Because like I said, that's your biggest treasure. Two of your biggest treasures: your life and their life. Yep. That's a big thing. Big that, ones. You know, it takes a lot, man. Nine months. Ugh. I won't Nine months. That. So you just owe think about me, that. Peter. <laughs> you owe me. You owe me the rest of your life. 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, so when you're married and you have kids too, right? This is the mother, my Mother's Day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, guys, so been a great show with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy Mother's Day out there. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. You guys do deserve it. Celebrate, that. enjoy yourself. Uh, you know, without you guys, life would not be here as we speak. Yep. So, lots of love to you guys. Make sure you guys are watching Cupid's Corner every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. And if you don't get to watch it live, make sure you DVR it. And if you miss that too, don't worry. Just go over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and you can see this show and all the other great shows of Cupid's Corner with all our great information that we give you guys week in and week out. So we'll see you guys next week, 11 a.m. I'll see you then.